tornati Federica giochiamo il Conference Championship 13-3 contro i Texan 16 su 19 pollici fanculo No, c'è scritto tipo Sync Master. Uh... Prova a vedere Sync Master 933. No, 931 loro 89. Soprattutto sono senza audio o c'è in questo? Dubito. Ma forse mi sento. Non so manco se mi sento. No, si dovrebbe sentire il mio audio. Aspetta che... Mi sento? Non mi sento un cazzo. Ora mi sento nelle cuffie almeno. E so più o meno quello che rientra, così dovrei parlare abbastanza bene. Però non sento il gioco. Questo mi infastidisce non molto anche se ho messo l'audio del game a palla perché audio del game non funzioni? ma si sente l'audio del game lì? Per il Super Bowl potrei vedere una con una contro Seattle Atlanta. E vedi che non si sente il, mio... il bastardissimo audio del... Peccatissimo. Ok, quello mi tranquillizza. Buffering, spazio, formato video. Cattura solamente l'audio. Modalità di uscita audio, cattura solamente l'audio, c'è messo. Ora ogni volta che tocco qui a Battle Middle. Eh, poi Federico se vuoi mi alzi il volume a questo... No dai cazzo! Ogni volta così... Ogni volta che tocchi di qua. Eh sì ma... Vabbè ha fatto tutto da solo. Spero che voi abbiate visto qualcosa perché... Che non si sia bloccato nulla. A me l'audio, a me non lo sento io. Se ti sposti un minutino, grazie. Johnny, così te lo vedi. Eh, ti devo leggere. Cazzo, aspetta. Ok, posso andare il gioco in pausa. Nel frattempo io giochicchio con... Uh, con il video è, è già su ma prima di tutto devi Perfetto. catturarlo a m a 1080 e non quella merda di 720 che hai l'audio è messo a palla ecco ora mi ridà quelle schifose barre sotto e sopra Ah no, ma ci sono le barre sotto e sopra, ho detto una cazzata io. Però l'audio che sembra esserci, poi non c'è e poi c'è. Non ho idea. Qui è messo a palla, proprietà. Ecco, ogni volta questo si sconvolge, ma sono io che ci giochicchio, proprietà. Configura il video. Signore avete qualche problema sicuramente nel... dovete attendere che a me passi la frenzy del... perché non mi si sente l'audio del... del game nonostante io l'abbia settato?
perché è l'unica <coughs> aspetta voglio controllare una cosa l'unico dubbio che mi viene se riuscite ad alzarmi il volume qui perché non sento un cazzo? Ah, le cuffie. Porco due, ecco perché. Adesso si dovrebbe sentire anche l'audio, sì, dell'elgato. Scusate signori, sono Nob. Ora si dovrebbe sentire l'audio, Fede. Vai ragazzi, vai così. Cosa Jessins? Certo. Alla fine gio gioco uno slot cross. Colpa mia, perché sono nobile. Manzel's got it in the gun. Michael Rivera with the reception. Here's the offense of the line. And for this team, they are the lifeblood of the offense. When they're blocking well, this team can do some serious damage. Si può venire a bastarlo. Può venire a bastarlo qui. Second and six. Ma rientra dal microfono No si è fatto male di lei No vabbè ma la sfiga Ok No deve rientrare 82 Fagliamo fare meno scherzi possibile è meglio così? Bill, you came through in the clutch many times in the postseason. No. You just weren't as prepared for the regular season. You just didn't care as much. Why did you star so much in the playoffs? Well, you're right. It's just a regular season game. So nobody cares. So to wait till the spotlight was on. Corriamo. Let's take a look at the starting lineups on the defensive okay, side. Okay, si sono messi per un lancio. Third and four. No. No. Ma dove cazzo vado come un imbecille? Fanculo Guys, I just spoke with a Browns official. Right now, all they will say is it's an upper body injury and that he will not be returning. Sono stato un pirla. Che ho esitato e invece dovevo andare dritto per dritto. Questi ci hanno Joe Walkins. Potrebbe fa fatto apposta in casa dai quelli. Mi scrivi qualcosa per farmi compagnia? Randall's lined up as the single back. First down at the 20. Sì, vabbè, lasciamogli 60 km. Intercettalo. Fanculo va. Stronzi. Dai che lo da, da, giocava profondo su Hopkins. Merde. Non ha perso niente. Spero che lo venga a vedere qua che se no. <ride> Ma abbiamo anche lo spammer di altri canali. Second down and ten. Randall's gonna secure the handoff. Johnson's there to take him down. Randall's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First down at the 30. Randall's going to take the handoff now.
second down coming up. The Texans lined up in the pistol. Grandi. Giù così, ragazzi. Here we are in the playoffs and how much of a difference is it between a regular season game and the postseason when it comes to preparation? I think there's a big difference when you talk about regular season against postseason. Players have a tendency to be more emotional, more, I guess you would say, excited. Oh, Pedro! Lo gli fa chiudere il quarto, grandissimo. Gli dobbiamo concedere lo spazio senza fargli chiudere il quarto. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Browns gearing up for their next drive now as defense has become the order of the day here. These teams trading punts on the previous two possessions. Yeah, when, you, when you're playing <coughs> a game <coughs> like this, you're back, you know the defenses are hot, and the one you're playing against is tough, so you've got to be careful, be very smart in your decision-making. Don't take any chances in a situation like this. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. Well, you expect defensive ends to get sacks because they come around the outside. But when you get pressure from the inside and the defensive tackle gets a sack, I the the flank flank it. Eh, non ho preso un sack. When it's third long on the offensive side, you have very few choices on how to pick up a first down. Call one of them and see if you get lucky and see if it works. Snap it out of the gun. Numero di Johnny, numero, grande Johnny. Terzo e 23 lo chiudiamo, fanculo. Dai un bel face mask. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally you're going to grab the face mask. And it's a completion to Hannah. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. The Texans defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The give. Oh, flag. flag. No, ma che cazzo holding offense? Vaffanculo, va. The defense will take the penalty. Ball is spotted at the 49. It's Bernard in the backfield. Second down and 13. Has the reception all alone. Terza e due, la faccia vostra, merda. The NFL loves this coverage where you got four defensive backs all playing deep. So in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. The Browns from the 37. Nuovo flag. Monse, mi fischia di nuovo una cazzo di roba di holding. Cioè, ho preso tre holding in lo stesso drive. Ci mi pila per il culo. Anziché un primo e dieci, un terzo e dodici. 
Third down after the penalty. Manziel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. No! Peak! Ho fatto svolazza il pallone. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes and it led to an interception. The Texans bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tied on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. The Browns defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the run play, they just overpower the offensive line and they tackle the runner for a loss. Back here to start quarter two. We are deadlocked right now in a game that has seen its fair share of defense. Yeah, it's kind of fun to watch, isn't it? I love defenses when they come out and they just establish the line of scrimmage and beat the offense up. That's what we've seen so far, and I think it's going to continue. Had it, but the hit knocks the ball out. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. The Texans come to the line with an empty backfield. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The Texans have a man down. Vabbè, a me non abbiamo pagato dazio questo intercetto. He's got a chance to return this one. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Bernard, such a great athlete. You gotta find ways to get the football to him. Here's another way to get it to him. On a punt return, how explosive is he? Man, Barry, that's the answer. The Browns have to still be thinking about that last possession. They were actually moving down the field. And then, of course, the untimely interception ended things. Yeah, the defense, look, they got good players. And, you know, you give them enough chances, they're finally going to make the play. You have to be careful with the football. The offense was not. And that's why it resulted in an interception. What do you think they're talking about on that huddle after that drive-killing interception? They're, they're probably telling the quarterback, if you do that again, we're going to kick you out. I don't know, but they've they got to play better. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Mark him down for another reception. You got to be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. First down at the 40. Bernard off the left side. Well, when you talk about edge players in the NFL, it means play on the edge, rush the quarterback, and stop the outside runs. How about that play by the defensive end? Play clock's running down. The Browns. Don't time out to kill you. Jogata. They call a timeout on second down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Second and ten. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. Third long situations. A lot of coordinators in this league will run a draw play on third long. Why? Because they're just looking for field position, pick up a few yards, and then by some miracle, if the running back is able to make guys miss, break some tackles, and pick up a first down. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be contra. Legal block in the back call. It's an illegal block in the back, and they now will be backed up some yardage. Yes, always remember as a blocker, you need to get your head in front of the defender, and you've got to get your front shoulder in front also to make it legal. 
Josh Gordon with the catch. The Browns did a good job there on first down. That pass picks up some good solid yards. Now second and short. Much easier to call those kind of plays. They need to get the playoff. They'll go crown. Good for only a yard. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Hard to get these plays nowadays in the NFL. Second and short, the defense sails out because they are expecting run. Well, it's a run that time by the offense and nowhere to go. He'll get it again. Brought down at the 26. Bernard able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. The play clock's running down. Manzel's back in shotgun formation. And a gain of four. That's a good touchy. I may never make the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Manzel standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Has his man. Bellissimo questo è il primo. Was made and had to move the chains. That's his first reception today. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. Manzel's completion percentage 70% on the day. Chiuso di nuovo. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. He's got the catch. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play action fake, probably get somebody jams it across the goal line for the touchdown. Volevo far segnare tanto su tutti i passi Johnny. Ci ho provato la prima, seconda, sono dopo i sette punti sicuri. A big touchdown right there. They're almost sure to take the lead to the locker room with that score. All touchdowns are big, man. They're all exciting. They all make you feel great. And right now, the offense, they are feeling great about what they did on that last drive. Kickers ready to go. Uno inizia a crescere che potremmo andare all the way. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Randall's on his way back out there. And his typical contributions have been absent from this offense for the better part of this first half. I'll admit the defense is playing spectacular. They are all over the place. They're aggressive. They're fast. So the offense has to counter. Maybe do some counter runs. Take advantage of the fact that the defense is being so aggressive. You know, I get about one spectacular out of you a year. So there it was. Yeah, this was spectacular. Nice run that time. You run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Let's go. They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Hopkins was the target, but this goes incomplete. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Joseph Randall with the reception. Oh, but you'll be on just a few of them. Gain of 10. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. And we've reached the two minute warning in this one. The guy that he'd be sure he made the most of this. Il gatto di Nibisci in movimento, qui sta adesso. Discordo, sempre di mettere il timer di quando sono online. 
Me lo devo ricordare dopo di farlo. Second down following that incompletion. The Browns defense now is going to go nickel. No. Io l'avevo quasi preso, mi sono andato a buttare addosso al running back in blocco, io, da solo, imbecille di Mauro. Poi la botta gli ho dato uguale, però serviva a poco. Adesso gli chiamo un time out per costringere a pantarli e lasciarmi un minuto e 47 sopra il cronometro. No, 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 l'ho preso, l'ha preso, che ha fatto, che ha fatto, oh. numero, mi aspettavo un intercetto invece, numero di relay, oh, è anche la mia prima scelta a draft, eh, scelta al primo giro, ma no, guarda che numero da circo, oh. No! Secondo intercetto di Johnny. E hanno segnato pareggiando la partita che invece il Laus l'ha proprio sparacchiato lontano Vabbè, due intercetti sono già tanti eh, in un di gioco in una partita che voglio vincere No, vabbè. Stiamo venendo giocando di merda. Ok, 
They can't overcome the fact that the defenses are just more physical and faster than they are right now. The Texans haven't been able to do very much offensively in this game, but the same thing can be said on both sides. Defense, the story today. Defense has absolutely been the story. They're both dominating physically, and I, I give a lot of credit to the coaches. Boy, they put their players in good positions, and the players are taking advantage of it. That was an incomplete pass that time against cover two, the two deep safeties. And if you really want to throw the football down the middle or deep down the sidelines, that time the quarterback didn't do that. And that's why it was incomplete. Second down and 10. Hopkins was the target, but this goes incomplete. This is third down. The Texans will look to get to the 29 to pick up a first. Randall's got it on the handoff. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. The Texans signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. down at the 30. Randall's hand at the football. They'll mark him at the 34. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. The Browns go with the dime formation here on defense. He'll take the snap from the gun. And they can't connect. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing. Run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. The Texans have it at the 34. by Whitmer. We're inching closer to halftime, and you have to think the focus That's for close. both of these teams at the break is how to get their offenses going. Two simple things. You want to keep the defenses playing the way they have, the so the just keep doing what you've done so far. On offense, look for new ways. Move get people around. So. Give your players a little better chance of making plays down the field. The Texans have to be pretty proud of their defense up to this point as we approach halftime. But then again, that could be said on the other side of the field, too. Yeah, that's what we're seeing, good defense. And listen, when you go in at halftime, you talk about what you're doing on offense. It's not necessarily the plays are bad. It's the order which you are calling them in. Catch the defense off guard. That's what play calling is about. Neither offense able to pull away in a first half that saw two defenses matching each other step for step. Larry Ridley coming up next to break down this first half. They'll take it at the 20. The Texans are putting up a dominant performance on defense, but then again, so is the other side, as we have a big defensive struggle going on. I think coming to this game, Jim, we thought both of these offenses might struggle against the defenses, and we were right for once, I should say, because it has been rough. The defense is very aggressive all over the football, and it's just going to be tough to score here today. Texans coaching staff has done a good job of mixing things up today on first down. The pass catches the defense off guard. They pick up solid yards. Now it's second and short. Tosses the football. And Mingo runs right to the outside and gets to the ball carrier and a tackle for a loss. The Texans offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play. But what happens is the run loses yards. That's just a bad job on the offensive line. Makes the catch. Picks up about five. Good job by the defense. Punt, punt, well punt, taught, punt. well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down.
fields it cleanly and starts his return. That's a gain of eight. The Browns line up, split backfield. The Texans lined up in the nickel. First down at the 21. Manzels marked down at the 27. Oddio, mi si è fatto male John. We've got a player down, so we'll step aside and be back in just a moment. Second and four following the run. Tim Tebow. Here's the handoff, and that picks up three. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Bernard's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, but there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Get ready. And the immediate handoff to the fullback. Okay. Stiamo spostando il pallone almeno. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Gets it out for the completion. Taken down at the 45. That's his fourth catch of the day. The Browns coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football. But no, they come out on Johnny first down, they throw it, oh, and they pick up solid yards, good job by them. They better hurry to get the staff. Gordon's got the catch and the first. You got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. Bernard lines up as the single back here. And incomplete. Looking at the passing numbers on both sides of the ball, they're just not there. The coverage has been good and has been hard to move the ball against those secondaries. Yeah, good job for the defense today. They got a good pass rush going. The coverage has been good down the field. And also, the defense has been good, but the quarterback has not been real sharp. Second and ten to the ground. And here as we look at the rushing numbers, there's not much there on the ground, even though this game is tied. Yeah, balance is not the word for this offense today. If you want to run the football, do it maybe in an unconventional way, some draws, some misdirections. That's what they need to do. Has Gordon. <laughs> Midway through the third, and the defense continues to set the stage in this game. Yeah, a little surprised, aren't you? I think we came into this game today thinking both offenses would have good days and find ways to score. Well, that's not been the case. It's been excellent defense up to this point. It's Bernard in the backfield. The pass complete to Hartline. Hartline's tackled down at the 24. That's his first reception today. When you run that drag route across the field, it is not as easy as it looks. You're running fast, you have to catch the football right in stride, and you cannot see what's in front of you. Two tight ends on the field here. Manzel's got it in the gun. And it's a catch by James Hanna. Harris is in on the tap. Good decision that time by the quarterback. He saw it was cover four. He knows he can't go deep, so he took the wide open receiver underneath. Always manage the football game. You got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. Fight us. to the fourth and partner they look to have seized command of this game with that touchdown oh i think they have they have seized command jim they put the pressure on the other coaching staff and the players this is a great spot to be in. the browns were very effective on that scoring drive especially via the fiducia ragazzino detto per detto passing yards on that scoring drive 
Bartley takes the knee in the end zone. A lot has changed since the opening minutes of this game when it comes to the passing attack. It was fantastic early, but has been way less so since. Yeah, the passing game, it's kind of fading away right now, but I'll say this to the defense, stay out those toes because that passing game can catch fire at any time. First down at the 20. And the catch is made by Whalen. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. The Browns' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. They'll go shotgun here. The reception by Jermaine Gresham. That's reception number two for him. Texans look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that Let's big go. play. Just keep marching. The Texans snap it at the 31. Jermaine Gresham has the catch. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards the Texans offense tries to continue some momentum still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway the final quarter underway now with this snap look at that concentration as he makes the grab There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Now first and ten. And the sack belongs to Mincy. Okay, because he's high. Well, if I was that quarterback, I'd be mad after getting sacked like that by the defensive end. Your offensive tackle just got to do a better job. Quarters formation here for the defense. From the gun. The catch by Hopkins. There's a flag right there. Pop, pop, from Colorado. His head got yanked back the other way. An obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. Second, 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 second. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. It's Gresham for a gain of about five. That's five receptions on the day. Here in the fourth quarter, when you're down, what you want to do is just keep that football moving. That time it's a short throw. He gets a completion. Good job. Randall's in the backfield. Single back set. The Texans snap it at the 36. DeAndre Hopkins with the grab. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. The Texans, good job that time. Moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You got your you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. And that pass is just thrown away. <laughs> Charles is set now, split out wide to the left. Out of the shotgun. Looking across the middle, Charles makes the catch. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. First and goal from the 10. taken out of his hands Charles is going to go back to the huddle and look at all his teammates and go my bad well they know that you were bad everybody even the offensive linemen they saw you were open and you dropped the pass that was right to you but hey that's the way it goes you know you got to keep the confidence up I think you will and I'm sure the football will find its way towards him again soon Mark 
marching down the field and taking their time. Third and goal from the ten. Oh, nice water, Che cazzo di stand che abbiamo fatto? He reads the quarterback, gets in position, down near his own end zone, knocks that pass down. And the kick is good for three. Well, this guy's a machine. Every time he gets a chance to go out there and kick a field goal, it is right down the middle. Good job by the offense, good job by the kicker. Gilbert's got it. Ah, ho sbagliato, ce l'ho lo spazio del coro. Fa un culo a me. Close game right now, partner, and you look at the matchup and running back, and neither one of them has really been all that effective. No, Jim, they have not been. I'll say this to the running backs, to the coaches, to the offensive line, everybody. Stay patient, stay with the run game, and I think it will work. An extra tight end on the field for this one. First down at the 22. The catch is made by Gordon. Let me show his mess, guy. Take him down. Bye bye. Aggiungiamo 16 yard. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast. They're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space. And sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. They'll go ground. Moore's in on the tackle. They have the lead, but they have no running game to speak of to this point. That may change here down the stretch, trying to take the air out of the football. Yeah, you're going to have to run it some just to work the clock and try to get the situations in your favor. But maybe every once in a while, fake that run and get an easy pass to keep that clock moving. Tackles made and the first down. Stanky da morire, bro. The Browns, they never back off. That first down, they got a small lead here in the second half. What are they looking to do? They're looking to march this football down the field and score. Manzel's completed his last six passes. Trying to beat the play clock. Sanders comes up with the ball. Sanders is tackled down at the 22. That's reception number four for him. At the 22-yard line, here they come. First down at the 22. Bernard looking for a lane. Good job that time by the defense. They're down. It's in the fourth quarter. They are expecting the offense to run the football, and they stop it for a couple yards. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Man, this defensive end, Jim, he is some talent. That time, good job. Makes the move, shows the speed, and gets around there and gets the sack. The defense pushed the offense back with that sack, and now they'll need 15 yards on third down. And it's batted down. The Browns don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. No good, no good. The Texans bring their offense onto the field. The last time they had control of the football, they did not come away empty-handed, but did not get a touchdown either. Well, they got that field goal, and I think that's important. That field goal gave them a little confidence. They got some points up there that always makes you feel good on the offensive side. Now take advantage of that good feeling. Go out there and score a touchdown this time. Let's see if they can finish off a drive. The Texans just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down, pressure on every snap now. Just about two minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. First down at the 42. Complete to Hopkins. 
That's his fourth catch of the day. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. You know, you go to the hurry-up offense so you can get a high number of plays in, but also you don't want to use the timeout. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Well, when it's late in the game, you're down a few points. You try to get as many plays in as you can, so you go to the hurry-up offense. Good job by the QB. This is why teams are always practicing the two-minute offense for situations just like this. You have the football under two minutes to go. You're losing. You pick up some good yards, and your player is smart enough to get out of bounds and stop the clock. Second and four. Charles on the receiving end. First down. Pressure on every snap now. The defense here must not panic. They know that they're going to be facing this hurry-up offense. A team that's desperate. Yeah, that's right. They know the situation. Don't give up the big play. And if you can tackle somebody in bounds, make sure you get it done. Good job by the offense going to hurry up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. And they're all over it for the sack. Going to the hurry That's up under a minute to go here. Nothing will drive a coach crazier than a false start penalty. False start offense. False start offense, okay. moment in this game as it's third down. The Texans come to the line with a bunch set. From the shotgun. Gains 17. Well, when you see a play like this by the offensive player, that is a great reflection on the coach. You can tell they've gone over these situations. When you're fighting the clock and you can get out of bounds, get it done. Good job by the offensive player there. Offense is still on the field here. On fourth down, needing eight yards for the first. They'll go for it on fourth down, late stages. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Fita. And he'll go back to the sideline, kicking himself that they could not find a way to get the first down and kept the drive going as they were on their way for what appeared to be a winning drive. Well, there's a lot of people to blame on that drive. I don't think anybody did a good job. The offensive line, the receivers, and the quarterback, they're all at fault. Keeps his legs moving, and Bernard is brought down. The Texans stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. Que partido. Second down and five. Gets the handle here. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Takes the knee. The Texans will stop the clock here with this timeout, needing to preserve time. Takes the knee. There they are, the winners of the Lamar Hunt Trophy, the new AFC champions. Well, today we identified the best team in its conference. Going on now to the big stage and the Super Bowl. To win a conference championship, that is so exciting. But then to sit back and think, we are going to the Super Bowl. That is something that you just can't even dream sometimes when you think of the good stuff 
that the game can bring you. But an exciting game today, going to the Super Bowl, it's just all wonderful, wonderful stuff. Okay. So we have a conference champion, and the Super Bowl matchup is now all set. For Phil Simpson and all the crew, Jim Nance saying we'll see you next at the Super Bowl.